Not gonna lie, we use a lot of tools over here to run to solo life. I actually plan to do an entire video in the future about our whole tech stack and what we use for different purposes. So if you're interested in seeing that, make sure to drop a comment below and subscribe to our channel. But there is one specific tool that helps us cut out hours of meetings per week. That tool is Loom. If you haven't heard of Loom, Loom is a screen recording software software that allows you to just talk through the specific things on your screen, give instructions, create SOPs or standard operating procedures, and be able to communicate with your team and your clients without having to coordinate your schedules to grab a meeting. Loom actually gives you stats of how many meetings you save per day. And according to Loom, I save eight meetings per day. Not to mention, this is also the software we use to record all of the tutorials on our YouTube channel and our courses. It's my ride or die. So now that the secret's out, I'm gonna walk you through what Loom looks like, how to use it, and some really cool features that we love. Let's dive in. Okay, this video is gonna be quite meta because I am currently looming on the desktop version and then I'm gonna use the Chrome extension to actually show you how you can use Loom. So you can use the desktop version or the Chrome version. I love using the desktop version, but in this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use the Chrome version. They really function very similarly. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and X off of my camera and then let's pretend you want to take a Loom using the desktop version from scratch. So once you create your account and download Loom, then you're gonna see this little Loom button up in the corner. From here, you can decide if you wanna do full screen, the current window, current tab, camera only. So I'm gonna put window. Then you can use no camera or FaceTime camera. So you have a webcam, then you can use that. And then the microphone. So if you have like a podcast mic, you can use that. If you use iPhone microphone, you can use that. When I am typically recording um, and there may be like an echo in the room or something, I actually use this wireless microphone. If you guys want the link, let me know in the comments. And I will plug that into my phone and and then put this on my shirt and then uh, that's how I get pretty clear audio and then I'll say Christie's iPhone microphone but it's really connecting to this microphone I don't know how I can just directly connect it to my computer and um, that's definitely a workaround unless any of you guys know feel free to let me know in the comments um, so there are a really awesome other things that you could do like you could blur certain information on the screen, which is really amazing, do effects, have a canvas, um, and you can really test out all those different features. Like say I wanted to blur sensitive information, right? Maybe I didn't want to show the assignee or what this name was, right? So you can see that you can blur information, which is super helpful when we're doing tutorials, say like we're using our actual HoneyBook account and we don't want to show um, client names, projects, financial information. You can use this blur effect. Now this is also only available on the Chrome extension currently, not on the desktop app. The desktop app also has a really cool feature called speaker notes where you can basically have like a sticky note up on your screen and Loom is not going to capture that note. It's going to kind of ignore it and pretend it's invisible. Um, so there are some really awesome features with Loom that you can also do that make it really awesome. Effects are things like, you know, um, doing like Right, I could have like the background, I could blur the background. Um, and then canvas would be like, if you wanted to have this canvas where say you want to put like a text layout, a background or something, maybe you're not doing a screen share, but doing something else. And um, that's another thing that you could do, which is super cool. So let me pull up this. Hold on and X out of the canvas. 
Okay, so once you have your settings, which also we have general settings, so basically we're never really messing around with this stuff unless we have to add a blur, you're just gonna click start recording. Choose, is it the window, the entire screen, the Chrome tab, and then it's gonna give you a nice countdown. And then you start recording. And whatever the tutorial is that you have to go through, right, whether you're providing feedback, whether you're creating an SOP, you're just going to screen record and then also you can have your photo or um, your video of your camera here in this corner. You can also make it bigger or make it smaller. You can still blur content while you're going through it as well. You can pause, restart, or cancel a recording, say you messed up. Pause is really great as well if you need to like gather your thoughts. And then once you go ahead and finish the tutorial, the feedback, whatever you are looming, you just click the stop button. And then you have the page that you go to, which is like now the page where you can share this link, split and trim, which you're gonna go through those things in a second. Again, this is super meta because I was just using the Google Chrome, but now I'm switching back to like the desktop version, um, which you can't see also like my timer because I'm just doing the window and my like timer and controls are on the left side. Um, okay. So so you could see Loom also has AI, which I'm so excited about, which it pulls a title that it thinks you were talking about. It gives a summary. And then also, if you have longer videos, it will create chapters, which is amazing. You are able to see when someone um, views your video, what their engagement was, how long they viewed it for. You can also add a link, like a call to action to your video. Split and trim is gonna be your BFF because there are so many times if I mess up during a video, I'll just give like a five second pause. So then when you go to split and trim, then you could see if there were any pauses and you can go through and just click on the place, click split, click on the next place you want to stop, click split, and you can obviously, you can still blur content, right? And then you can delete any clips that you want. Not only can you split and delete, but you can also say, like for example, yesterday I was recording an SOP. And while I was recording the SOP, I'm like, I actually need one more piece of information from this client, which is like, when do they want the due date for their team SOPs, whatever. And so I was like, okay, I'm gonna come back to this once I get that answer. So after I stopped the video, the client responded a few minutes later, and then I made a second loom. And then what I did was I actually stitched the two videos together. So I was able to then just choose the next video, stitch them together, and it took those two videos and then put them together. So it's not only about like screen recording, it's also the efficiency of being able to split and edit in the actual browser, stitch videos together, add the thumbnail. If you wanna add a link, you can see the call to action, what is the URL. Um, you can see comments, so people can comment on your Loom videos. You could see the transcript, which is amazing. And then again, the views. So let me go ahead and find a Loom video and show you what the views and kind of analytics look like. Okay, so you can see here in this video, you'll see one view by Andrea and you'll be able to see 100% completion um, and when they viewed it. So uh, the thing about this too that's really great is when you're sending things to the team or clients, you are able to see if they viewed it or not. So do you have to check in with them? Have they seen it? Um, things like that. And then you could see more insights as well. Um, like how many people like video spotlights, speech breakdown, etc. You can rename this and then 
The best part about all of this is the fact that you can record videos like this and then just take this link and then send it over to the people that need it. So whether you're putting this in a ClickUp task or in your project management tool, embedding it in documents, just sending it in Slack to a team member, it is super, super easy to be able to send videos and links and honestly, Loom has completely changed our life. So that is a bit about Loom and how to actually screen record. You can see how user-friendly and simple it is. Then I wanted to talk about one more use case besides things like you know sending feedback or updates or things like that. We use Loom not only for our YouTube videos and then after this, Loom, I will go ahead and download this and upload it into the editor but also for SOP creation, not only for our team, but also for our clients when we're building out their systems. You can see in the SOP library that you can have SOPs and then just stick a video in the description, right? So let's pretend this was for that SOP. And then it's basically like a storage and database of all of these videos. So your team doesn't have to go looking in Loom to try and find the specific answers. If they're in the SOP library, they can just search for what they're looking for with the search and then be able to find that and watch the videos. So there are so many amazing ways you can use Loom, but I hope if this is your first look inside, if you see how powerful the tool actually is and what you can use it for, for your business or even like team feedback, even if you're on a team and it's not your business, but maybe whatever job you have, this could really cut down on meeting time. And then also it's just super awesome for communication because it's crystal clear instead of trying to write things down or things like that, it's just documented in a few minutes of a screen share. I hope that video was helpful for you. If you've never heard of Loom or if you've been debating taking the plunge, it is a million percent worth it. If this video was helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more information on the tools that we use in our business and really how they can help you save time. With that, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.